Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to unbox the DJI Osmo Mobile 6. I also concurrently purchased this iStudy X 3-axis Palm Gimbal. So uh, th these are both 3-axis gimbals. This one retails for about $150. This one just came out about a couple of weeks ago. And then I found this one while shopping for this one on Amazon for about half the price. So I think about 70 bucks. So I wanted to compare the two gimbals at two different price points. So this is for, you know, somebody who's a starter using a gimbal, kind of like me. Uh, and this is uh, somebody who's gonna get a lot of views out of their gimbal. And so I'm gonna compare these two and see which one I keep. I do have a DJI, DJI Mavic uh, Mini, and I know the gimbal on that is amazing. So I just wanted to kind of get these both and compare. So I'll leave a link to, the, uh, link to this unboxing in the description below if you wanna go check it out. So right off the bat here, let's see on the box, it just kind of shows you all the features. It does have a built-in extension cord uh, or extension rod, and we're gonna download the app to use it, but not much to it on the box. There is a plastic cover on here, so we can lift that off. Oh, I see, yep, there's a little tape here. To make an easy open and then it says open from here so let's see what they mean there we go all right so this is the qr code for the app so i'm gonna go ahead and download the app all right it's called dji memo the app that uh, the Mimo app is what you're going to be downloading using this QR code, which is the app that uh, helps you kind of get some of the extra features such as um, video guides, things like that. On top here, you have a box with probably just uh, user manual and stuff like that. Let's see what we have in here. Okay. Oh, we have a charging cable in here. It is USB-C. You have a holder bag and no manuals. Okay, great. So it seems like uh, this also has a guide, this QR code on top here also has a guide and you can download the app using that QR code. So if you need a user guide, it's all electronic. There is a quick start guide. It's a pretty nice carrying bag. It says Osmo on there. So this is the Osmo Mobile 6. It's a very nice soft carrying bag. You have the cell phone holder. So I'm gonna use this uh, iPhone 2, so um, iPhone 2. I'm gonna be using my um, old iPhone 8 Plus to test out the device. So I'm gonna snap that on there. This is magnetic, so it will snap onto your uh, gimbal as soon as you're ready to use. is this tripod attachment. This is one of the better tripod attachments because it goes all the way flat or almost all the way flat and has a pretty wide footprint. So when you have a heavy phone attached to the gimbal, it won't tip over. On the bottom here, that's... Okay, so there's some past, uh, these soft sticker things. I don't know what they're for, honestly. Um, they were just kind of in here. I'm guessing they're for the bottom of the tripod. We're going to put that to the side. All right, so we're outside and we're going to be testing the gimbal out. I've got the phone holder installed on my phone here. So it's right now it's locked. So we're going to go ahead and unlock it. And then you just tilt it out and it turns on automatically and we're ready to go. So let me just, uh, so I have the uh, Mimo app already going and we're going to go ahead and mount it. Once you connect it, you can go ahead and uh, click on the device and you're connected with Bluetooth. You're ready to go. Okay. Oh, and another thing is this extender rod, which um, is about a foot, maybe 10 inches or so, enough to give you some uh, better angle so that your arm's not in the video. But yeah, this can be pretty helpful too. And the gimbal feature remains uh, functional because it's a very sturdy extender rod. 
that extends just your gimbal and not the handle. Let's go through some of the controls. So, you have a lot of buttons here. You have this joystick, which allows you to turn the phone uh, in different axes. So you can see you can uh, move it in many different axes. So, uh, both axes here. Then you have this button here, uh, this scroll wheel here, will allow you to switch between focus uh, and zoom. So this phone, you cannot manually uh, switch the focus. So essentially you can only thing you can do is zoom and it's given me some of the instructions to uh, kind of help me out here. So as you can see, if you turn the wheel, you can zoom, you can even change the zoom speed in the settings. You have a M button which changes the mode. So once I'm in tilt lock, even if I change the angle of my handle, the phone remains in the same tilt. The next mode, is FPV so essentially the phone will go in any angle you want. The next mode, let's see, is spin shot. So spin shot is essentially you hold the joystick and the phone will turn. So this is nice for when you're like walking and you want a uh, rotating video. Okay, so let's X out of that. We're gonna go back to the original mode, which is the follow mode. So this will only change angle in this direction and then the pan okay you have this button which if you press one you're gonna switch between the front and the rear camera uh, if you press it twice you're gonna go in landscape and portrait uh, if you tap it again back to this mode tap it three times and you can change it between video and photo all right so we're gonna hit once go back to the uh, back camera three times to go to photo, up in video, one, two, three, and it switched over to video. Okay, so I'm in follow mode right now, so I should be able to change the angle um, with the stabilization in all, in essentially two axes, okay? Uh, this button, you press it once, it's record, press, it tw uh, press and hold when you're in photo mode and it will uh, give you burst mode. Uh, you do have a trigger in the back, so this trigger in the back uh, allows you to switch between um, uh, essentially target lock so uh, it will recognize that there's a person there and it'll lock on that person um, if you press and hold uh, the gimbal will be locked so if I'm pressing and holding the gimbal is locked um, and then when I let go as you can see it starts moving again so again I'm gonna press and hold and the gimbal is locked so it will keep track of that person no matter how I move around so as you can see, the phone is pointing to the same direction. As soon as I let go, now the gimbal is moving straight. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and start recording our first video and I'll show you um, what I'm recording here. So press the record button and start walking. And as you can see, it's uh, keeping a very steady image. inside the phone. So one of the newer phones such as the iPhone 13 Pro Max or, the, or any of the Pro new phones have great built-in stabilization so it's hard to figure out what the gimbal is doing versus what the phone's doing. So as you can tell the stabilization uh, is really good with this gimbal. It's top of the line and I'm trying to change the angle of the phone but it won't. It holds that horizontal position. Let's go ahead and change the mode. So we're gonna click M mode again. So now it's tilt locked. So now the horizon will remain the same no matter what angle I turn at. So it will hold that tilt. We're gonna change the mode again once more and now it's gonna be FPV mode. So I can even tilt the phone and get different angles. We can change the mode now to the spin shot mode. So spin shot mode, as we go forward, you can get this really cool effect and then you can do it in reverse. 
Of course, you can always tap this button twice to go on landscape or portrait mode. And uh, you can keep using the joystick to go back to horizontal if you'd like. Go click, click on the mode again and you're back to the follow mode. Let's go ahead and use this trigger. So when you use this trigger, it's gonna lock. So it's, it's locking on that car, if you can see that red X or a green X. And so as I move, the phone will automatically turn towards that car. So as you can see, my gimbal is pointing that direction, yet the phone automatically pointed towards the car. So that's, that's part of that, it's part of the object lock. So it just locks on that object and you can click it again and it will release you from that object. And now I'm free to move around as I please. And of course, when you're um, moving around and you notice that you're not pointing to the angle you want, you can always use the joystick and change that. Okay, so now I'm on the front facing camera with the active track on and I can click the trigger on the back and let go of the active track and now it'll kind of move around freely. I click the active track once again and as you can see the green box and I can move the uh, gimbal around no matter where I want in whatever angle holding the gimbal, the phone is gonna keep moving and keep tracking my face. So I'm gonna hit record and show you how well it works. As you can see, no matter what angle I turn my gimbal in, it's going to keep me in the center of the image. It does uh, you know, take a second or two sometimes to pan to the right angle, but it's doing a pretty good job. Um, so if you're a video vlogger who likes to walk around, this gimbal is perfect for you. Okay, now that we're done, all we have to do is pull this off the clamp here and we're going to just fold this over. So you're going to just fold it over and it turns off by itself and you're ready to store. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.